Since Apple doesn't make leather cases anymore, I've been on the hunt to find the best leather case for the iPhone 15. And I finally found it. Here I have 11 brands of leather cases that range from $30 to $90. There's real leather, cactus leather, and even one Alcantara case. And so we're going to do a showdown across seven categories. I'm going to choose a winner and runner up from the best feel to the best buttons, rate the cutouts for USB-C, and then pick an overall winner, my favorite, for the best leather iPhone 15 case you can get right now. In case you were wondering, here are all the brands of leather cases that I tried out and will be showing in the video today. And here are the categories which I'll be choosing a winner. And for full disclosure, I pretty much bought all of these. I got two sent to me, the Ondar and the Luso Loop, but they didn't actually win any categories. So all of the winners, they were not sent to me, not given to me. And I'm probably gonna return most of them, but if you want me to do a giveaway, leave a comment below this video. And if it blows up, I'll do a giveaway over on Threads. Category one for best feel actually goes to Ryan London. This is a real leather case in saddle brown, $60. It has metal buttons and it has an open bottom. Plus you can personalize it if you want. There is a Ryan London logo on the side, but it's pretty discreet. Getting the case in and out is very easy, especially with that open bottom. And I just absolutely love this leather. Not only the look of it, but the feel. It just feels great. The metal buttons are a little smaller than some other cases, but they do feel really good. And it smells like real leather. I mean, the feel of this case is just incredible. And again, at $60, I actually think it's a really good value for a high quality leather case. My runner up for case feel is the decoded leather case. This case is $54. This is the clay color. This is a full grain aniline leather. It's real leather, not vegan or cactus leather. It has metal buttons, which I really love the look of, and a metal camera ring. I like the accent metal around the camera ring, actually, it looks great. There is a decoded logo on the back, but again, pretty discreet and I think it looks pretty good. Also, the inside of this case, you don't see it very often, but it's a cool design. And again, I'll be commenting on the USB-C port holes for each case in their category. The decoded case has an action button like the Ryan London before it, and this leather just feels great. Again, I like the colors these come in, especially the lighter color with the blue titanium iPhone. Feels great in the hand, and it's not too thick. Some of the cases do add some bulk, and I'll get to that in a second. All right, our next category is best buttons. Best buttons actually goes to the Nomad Horween leather case. The side button actually has a little ridge texture on it, which is really nice. Metal buttons, again, action button here as well. And they all just feel great to click. And I really like this texture. This is the Horween leather case in rustic brown. Again, this is a real leather. It's $70. Horween is actually a tanning company in Chicago that's been around since 1905. Thanks for all the comments explaining that. But the Nomad cases do have this two-tone look. So if you like that, this might be the case for you. I actually don't prefer the two-tone look. But again, this case feels great. The buttons are some of the best. And it's very easy to get your iPhone in and out of this case because of this different texture on the sides. And while the Horween is $70, you can also get a regular leather or non-Horween for $50 from Nomad. Now my runner up for best buttons, it's actually a tie. I love the Ondar buttons and the decoded case once again. I love the decoded buttons. Again, these are both metal. The Ondar case, they felt great, but there is no action button on the Blanc model. I really love the white case from Ondar, but they said they're not going to update it with an action button. They have other leather colors that will get the button, but not this one. This is a cactus leather. It is not real leather, but I actually really enjoy the feel of it. It's $41. It's on sale right now. Usually it's close to 50. Again, this is the Blanc color, metal buttons. Inside feels great. There is an Ondar logo here on the side and the bottom, the cutout is a little small, but again, I just love the look of this, the metal camera ring, and the buttons felt great. I actually did drop my phone in this case once already, and you'll see the little nick there, but it protected the phone for the most part. Number three, best USB-C cutout. Now, any case that has an open bottom, like the Ryan London or Bullstrap, it's gonna win this. So if access to that port is your priority, these open bottom cases, I mean, they're just gonna be the best. There's full access to that port, even this big Thunderbolt cable, no problem plugging in a cable like this. But aside from open bottom cases, I do have to give runner up status to the Nomad. They have a really big cutout here for the USB-C port and I can plug the same Thunderbolt cable into the bottom really easy. And this is one of the biggest cables I have. And here's a USB-C cable from Anchor. And again, plugging that in is no problem. The cutout on the Nomad is simply the best amongst all these cases. Now, if you're looking at something like the decoded case, the USB-C cable from Anchor fits just fine. So plenty of access there. But if you were gonna do something like this Thunderbolt cable, it's not gonna fit. The case is a little too big and just doesn't allow access. Most of the other cases are gonna be similar to that decoded. The USB-C cable from Anchor fits just fine, but a larger Thunderbolt cable will not. Nomad is the only one that has a big enough port for most cables. But there actually is one other runner up. This is an Alcantara case from Alma. I'm gonna get back to the feel of this case in a second, but their cutout is actually one of the largest of all of these cases. And the Thunderbolt cable actually fits in with no problem. 
So if you're looking for a big cutout, this is another good option, but we're gonna have to talk about this feel in a second. But before we continue our categories, we need to go on a little side quest called the Bottomless Case Quest, AKA the John Syracuse Quest. Now, if you've been getting Apple leather cases for years, you'll know that they used to make leather cases with no bottoms. Now these are harder and harder to find. So I have three brands here, Bullstrap, Ryan London, and Blackbrook, the little buffalo on the bottom. All these cases are bottomless, and I have to say, I haven't used a bottomless case since the last Apple leather one with no bottom. And it's pretty nice, swiping up to go home without feeling a lip. I can see why Syracuse wants it. So the Bullstrap and the Ryan London, these cases are almost carbon copies of each other. They both have black metal buttons. There's a raised camera lip, not metal, just leather still. Again, same black buttons on the other side, microfiber inside. But I do have to say they feel slightly different. The Ryan London is a smoother leather. I think it feels slightly more high quality. The Bullstrap is very nice, don't get me wrong, but it's a little more grainy of a feel. Not as smooth as the Ryan London. I think it would be down to preference. For me, I prefer the Ryan London over the Bullstrap, but thankfully these are both open bottom cases. They are quite different in price. The Bullstrap case is $90. This is the Sienna Brown. It's a full grain leather. The Ryan London is $60. This is the Saddle Brown. Again, for very similar cases, the Ryan London at $30 cheaper, I think is a really good value. And honestly, the one I prefer. But I did get a lot of comments about Blackbrook, and we just have to talk about this case for a second. Another Buffalo icon, which I get it, but this has to be one of the most opinionated cases yet. It's definitely thicker than the other options. I mean, it definitely adds some heft to the phone. And rather than just put action buttons and metal buttons, they just gashed out most of the case. There's just a huge notch here in the case for the action and volume buttons, and another huge notch for the side button. I mean, if you like this look, I guess that's cool, but it's not really for me. This does have a more outdoorsy, maybe Western feel. This is real leather made in Istanbul, which is kind of cool, but it definitely is thicker than the other two options. And again, you just have to be okay with these massive cutouts. It's a pretty cute bison or buffalo or something though. All right, the next category is thinnest case. And for that, I have to give it to Mujo. You can get these on Amazon, although many of the colors are out of stock, or you can get it directly from their website. Real leather, it's $60. This is the Monaco blue color. It is a European leather, metal buttons and metal camera bump. And the camera bump is actually anodized the same color as the case, which is kind of cool. There is a Mujo logo on the back. It's pretty discreet. So if you're looking just for the thinnest case possible, this is a good option. Although being this thin and a very small lip around the front screen, it looks like that port barely has an edge here, but it does, it goes all the way around. Bonus for fun colors. And if you want the thinnest, this is a good option, but not for me. Runner up in the thinnest category is Bellroy. Now Bellroy initially shipped this case with no action button, but they've actually sent an email out to those who have bought it before. And they have a replacement program where you can just request a new case that will come with an action button or they have an action button kit where you can add it. I do like the leather on the Bellroy case. It is $60. This is the Everglade color. There's a little Bellroy logo on the back. The buttons feel pretty good, not as premium buttons as some of the other cases. And with these very thin cases, the camera ring, it's like barely covering the lens. So if you put it flat on its back, those lenses are raised, but just barely. But I like most of Bellroy's products and because they're adding an action button now, I think this case is a solid choice. Again, if you're looking for thinness and other colors. Next category is best looking. And for that, I'm actually going to give it a tie. I really love the look of the decoded case and the Ondar in white. I just find the metal ring and the buttons to look awesome, especially the raw metal look on top of this case. I love the clay color and the leather looks and feels great. And again, that inside microfiber, just really cool. So I love the look of the decoded case. And again, this white Ondar case, if you like white, I mean, it's really nice. For the most opinionatedly designed case, I have to give it to Blackbrook. Again, these huge cutouts are just wild on this case, but the runner up I think is actually more interesting. This is an Alcantara case from Alma. This is a suede-like material. It's not leather, but I had to include it because it's just interesting. The feel of the Alcantara is actually pretty nice. It's a very suede-like material, metal camera ring, metal buttons, everything feels great, has an action button. Again, the cutout was one of the biggest of the other cases, but also I live in Florida and this material, I don't know how to explain it, but it kind of just feels like a hot material. But otherwise, I do really like the feel of this. The friction of getting this material out of a jeans pocket though, definitely a little more traction than leather cases. And so if you wear a lot of jeans, this might not come in and out of the pocket as easily as you'd like. But again, the material is very interesting. It's soft. If you're going out for a fancy evening and this matches your outfit, I mean, that might be kind of cool. And uh, if you want something fuzzy, uh, yeah, this is it. 
And before we get to the overall winner of the best iPhone leather case, I do want to mention two other brands. One is Luso Loop. They did send me these cases. They're $35, so they're actually the most inexpensive real leather option. It has metal buttons, metal camera ring, has an action button. I just don't prefer the feel of these as much as the others, but it does have a cool looking texture and these come in nice colors. You can also get more of a straight leather look. Again, great value, the most inexpensive leather case, compatible with MagSafe. Of course, links to these and all the other cases are down in the description. And one other to mention is the Moft leather case. I actually ordered the wrong size. This is for the 15 Pro, not the Pro Max, so I couldn't try it on my phone, but I do have to say it has great buttons, has an action button. This is of course real leather. The Moff cases are $50. This is the seafoam color. They also have this interesting like lanyard ecosystem. There's a space down here for that. And overall it feels nice. It doesn't feel as leathery as the other cases. They talk about this being a different kind of material, easier to clean and maybe a little more water resistant. So it is nice logo right here next to the camera bump. It's not for me, but if you like their colors and this different kind of feel, I'll put links to the Moff down there as well. And finally, the winner of the best overall iPhone leather case that I have found amongst all the ones that I have tried is the Ryan London leather case. I absolutely love the feel of this case. It is the most leather feeling and leather smelling case. Metal buttons are great. And I am now used to that open bottom and I don't know if I can go back. It's something you feel every time you swipe up to go home and having an unencumbered bottom lip is pretty great. Plus I'll be using this port to film ProRes video a lot and not having to worry about a cutout or will a cable fit is pretty nice. The camera ring is okay. I do prefer the metal camera rings around some of the other cases, but that's a small negative on an amazing feeling case. This came all the way from London, hence the name, Ryan London. And this is going to be the case I keep on my iPhone for the next year. I mean, just look at that leather. Really love this case. And my runner up winner for best overall is the decoded leather case. I love the feel of this case. It feels thin in the hand. The metal buttons are super nice. I like the metal camera ring and the colors that this case comes in. There is no open bottom. And so that might be a deal breaker for you. But for me, I just love the look and feel of this case. I'm gonna be keeping this one as well. I might be going back and forth between this one and the Ryan London, but kudos to the Ryan London and Decoded team for making some incredible leather cases and all the other brands we talked about. Now there's probably some brands I didn't cover that maybe you love and I just hadn't heard of it yet. So leave your other favorite leather case brands down in the comments. Now I'm probably gonna return some of these cases, but I thought it would be fun to do a giveaway. So go follow me on Threads. I'm gonna put that handle here and in a few days I'll be doing a giveaway on there. And before you go, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I have a great video on iCloud passwords. If you're looking to finally switch from maybe one password or dash lane, I have that video up here. And if you just got a 15 Pro or Pro Max and you're looking to build some shortcuts for that action button, I actually have a video where I show you how to build seven easy shortcuts step-by-step. -step, and you can just download those links in that video's description. That video is right here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.